Oh, hey. Didn't see you there. Uh, as you can see, I've uh, kind of gotten into speedrunning over the last couple of days. In fact, I decided that today, we're going to go for the world record any percent speedrun of SCS. <laughs> Hope you're up for the challenge. Alright, we might be making good time so far, but uh, uh, let's uh, hurry up with the thing. Here, what is it? Aw oh, geez, it looks like we're doing a speedrun. I had better hurry up with this segment of outdoor channel discussion. Let's jump right into it. Uh, this is the first one of these I've uh, done in the day. So there's uh, going to be a bit more, what, what they call in the industry as a uh, gnat sound. So uh, we're just going to have to uh, do our best with this. Okay, since we're trying to keep this brief, I'm going to get right to the point. 2021, uh, it's a funny new year, uh, we're just doing, playing it by ear, like entirely. We have no plans, we're not like shooting for any goals, just doing whatever comes about. We had two pretty high quality skits come out in the same day, uh, about a week ago, so if you haven't seen those, uh, that's probably going to be about uh, the peak of the channel for the year, so you can just go ahead, unsubscribe, you're all good. Uh, the only other thing I really have to say is like to um, expand on what I said in the last OCD, which you can watch uh, somewhere on the screen. Uh, and it's basically just like uh, that, the, just the fact that v making videos has become increasingly more difficult. And I kind of left that out, but it's just like, it's not just that I'm... Uh, struggling to like come up with ideas. It's just like the literal like recording is becoming increasingly uh, difficult to complete. I'm enjoying it less and less. I'm losing energy quicker. So um, that's something else to uh, keep in mind as uh, I slowly descend into. Yeah, there's literally uh, nothing else to say for this segment, but uh, here are some things that I am working on. These are just sort of um, ideas for things that I want to do, but again, we're just playing it by ear. None of this is promised. This is just things that I'm thinking about doing. Uh, we are doing Letterbox Lottery, but for a third time. That's right, you guys. There's no gimmick this time. It's just uh, doing the same thing, but again. I'm going to do another um, like full force review, like the uh, Jacob's Ladder thing, but like I want to go like seriously like all in for this one because it's a movie that i found that i can only find like one other video about it on youtube and it's a podcast so i'm i, I since i'm going to be the first one to be making a review on it i want to make sure it's as good as possible so uh really uh that's just going to come out my goal is to have that out in 2021 so uh stay tuned for that i also want to do uh maybe over the summer another like a non-scripted slash kind of uh, scripted thing with the boys, like, um, rigging a cooking competition. Uh, I think at this point we kind of have a rigging a series, so I kind of want to continue that as sort of the big summer project. Uh, also maybe some, like, uh, gaming stuff, maybe? Uh, I could totally see myself just getting bored and making a let's play or two. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I feel like streaming is kind of out the window, so maybe we'll, uh, maybe we'll get back to some, uh, Let's Plays, Undertale, yeah! Uh, as for the streaming, I just kind of stream whenever. Uh, I'm not officially not streaming, but I'm also very rarely streaming. But I kind of want to get back into it, so, um, make sure you're following me on Twitch with notifications on, because, uh, the more people that join the streams, the more likely I am to continue streaming. So make sure, if you want to see more streams, that you actually show up. Speaking of streams, on uh, April 25th, the Academy Awards are happening. Uh, I've been looking forward to this for a good while now, because, uh, I've seen most of the nominees this year, and I'm very excited to uh, make a meme out of the whole thing. And so I'm going to be uh, streaming my reaction to it. Um, we're going to start like a full hour early. We're going to have like a pre-show um, q and I don't know why I just said that, but um, yeah, be there. April 25th, I think it's like um, 5 p.m. Central Time. It's something, I'll put, the, put it on the screen, like do a motion track, like follow my hand and stuff. Yeah. Um... Yeah, that's pretty much it. I've kind of been, like, um, trying to write more, uh, scripts or screenplays or whatever, um, 
just for the portfolio. I'm not really planning on making anything or shooting them just because I don't think I have the resources uh, or people or time, or not time, I have the time. I just don't have the people or the crew. So I'm just kind of assembling as many uh, scripts as I can. I mean, I say, I say that like I have, I have like three or four. I'm working on another one. But they're all just nothing to share with the class, you know. They're just uh, depressing dramas. So you know that they're good. That uh, that's gonna be it for this. Um, let's see. Let's see if we made made good time. What do you mean, just an excuse to make a low effort video? Speedrunning is really in right now. I think I think we can really access a new market of. Oh, <laughs> hey, I, I didn't see you there again. Uh, Let's, uh, see how our time is doing. Mmm! Quite good, if I do say so. Uh, well, let's, uh, continue on to see if we can get the next check mark at Tim! Okay, just for the camera, um, I'm... <laughs> the, <laughs> the joke idea for the video for the segment was gonna be I'm gonna key out the, uh, wall behind me. <laughs> just because I, I couldn't find like a funny place to record so I just thought what if I sat on the floor and then keyed out the, <laughs> the blue wall behind me it might work I'm this might this disclaimer might not be necessary this could be like really funny and I'm gonna do it for all my videos just sit on the floor <laughs> and, and just sit in front of a wall okay uh Oh wow, we got um, a couple more seconds because of our speed run. So let's keep going into uh, Tim. That irritates me mildly. Um, a segment where I can rant about a particular topic um, and anything I feel that uh, deserves to be kind of uh, discussed or brought uh, the attention to the viewer so that they uh, are maybe more conscious of these things in their um, daily lives and adventures. Uh, today, since we are, we gotta we gotta keep going to the speed run, and we're gonna go fast. So I figured today we would just sort of rehash um, the only other subject I've discussed on here, which is uh, incomplete box sets. Now uh, you might be thinking, oh, what what else could you possibly say about it? You already did a. Uh, good 10 minute rants in the uh, SCS episode 2 which you can watch somewhere on the screen at this very moment. Uh, we're, well you're right, um, I don't have much to say, but I would definitely like to um, expand on a thing or three. I do kind of feel like I didn't really hit all of the marks that I kind of wanted to with that first one, and um, mainly just the first Thing, like I thought of this as soon as I finished recording that I didn't mention it's the idea that you are going to one day have to update your complete box set that's the main thing everything else I've definitely since that uh, video was uploaded I've definitely kind of come around to the idea of a sort of incomplete box set uh, just as sort of a collectible item that still has a lot of use even though it is not 100% the coolest thing ever and the main thing with my issue was that I really didn't really uh, clarify in that video just the idea that there's going to come a day like a very near like day that you know of like if you buy an Avengers box set you know they're gonna keep making Avengers movies and so it's just this idea that you have a complete box set and then in what five years you're gonna have to buy another box set because that's the most complete and then in another five years you have to buy the complete box set and uh, it's just that idea that like eventually you're gonna have to just keep upgrading until the studio uh, runs out of money. So I guess to uh, sort of boil down my position here, uh, I am not against any more, like especially now, I am not against the idea of an incomplete box set per se. Uh, the main thing that I wanted to just sort of uh, draw attention to that I am against is this idea of like a, a consumer purchasing an incomplete box set prematurely and just that like a John Wick box set or a Matrix box set right now probably not the best idea 
but um, a Halloween box set. Maybe you don't like the new movies. That's fine. Just make sure, at the end of the day, just make sure you know that you're getting the best deal that you can, you know? You know, I myself would never fall for such a marketing trick, but maybe, uh, maybe if you or your friend wants to, uh, go ahead and buy an incomplete box set, you know, it, uh, you know, I've, I've had a character arc, really. This is my, uh, full, this is the hero's journey. I'm back where I arrived, sitting in front of the window, and, uh, I've, I've had a change of heart. You can buy your incomplete box set, you, you viewer at home, but just, uh, Make sure that you know what you're doing. Uh, this I'm kind of going back on my point from the first one. Uh, what the dog doing though? I mean, yeah, it just kind of started as like a second channel side project type thing, but I guess the whole dream persona kind of really took off with people. Oh, <laughs> hey, I uh, you snuck up on me again. Uh, uh, looks like we're a. Uh, bit behind on our speed run, but uh, that's okay. Let's see if we can uh, shave off a couple of seconds by seeing this uh, brand new skit. Let's see what that is. Ah. Reason I'm in such a good mood today is uh, I just got the first dose of my COVID vaccine. Uh, this is huge for me because that means I'm one step closer to going back to my comic book conventions where I can discuss my hardcore PC gaming with uh, fellow cosplayers. Oh yeah, they uh, gave me this uh, packet of information. Uh, probably isn't anything important, but uh, there might be a funny knock-knock joke at the end, so uh, I'm going to read through it just to be safe. Well, nothing seems to be on here. Wait, what's this last page? <gasps> no! I don't like soybean! I only eat manly food, like chicken! I'm turning into a soy boy! <laughs> I sure do enjoy gaming on my Nintendo console. <laughs> oh, and these glasses, they aren't even for style. I need them to improve my vision. <laughs> this is a certified soy jack moment. Warning, does this video seem familiar to you? You might be subscribed to Sir Chancellor's second channel, link in description. This is where you'll find exclusive behind the scenes content that's just too edgy for the main channel. You have been warned. That's like you can put like a sound effect there. <laughs> so then he starts to turn over the pickle in the garage and uh, oh. Hey, uh, w wow! Looks like we, uh, are making our speed run. Uh, that's right, guys. Uh, let's look at our results and, ha, wow! We got the world record! This is so awesome and cool. Aw, uh, jeez, what a wacky and cool ride this has been. Well, uh, that's all for this gimmick. I mean, episode. Uh, I'll see you in the next one! Ha <laughs> ha! It, it, I smile through the pain.